हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जमनाई ऑन मिशन एंड आज का वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट स्कॉलरशिप्स आई रियली वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद यू ऑल हाउ टू क्रैक अ स्कॉलरशिप एंड वट टाइप्स ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप्स रियली एग्जिस्ट तो मुझे किंगस्टन यूनिवर्सिटी से फाइव थाउजेंड पाउंड का स्कॉलरशिप मिला था एंड दैट वॉज लाइक अ ड्रीम एम ट्रू एंड ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू माई मास्टर्स विद अ स्कॉलरशिप so after cracking one i thought why not share it with you all and there might be tons of questions so today i'm going to answer all of them so the very first question is what kind of scholarships really exist kaun se types of scholarships hote hain one is internal scholarships and external scholarships internal scholarships are all about from your country jo aapko shayad government scholarships uh, de sakte hain ya aapko koi agency ke through scholarship milta hai wo sare internal scholarships ke andar under aata hai and external scholarships are anything say with the university because aapki country ke bahar aap jo bhi agency ke through apply kar rahe ho या यूनिवर्सिटी के थ्रू अप्लाई कर रहे हो तो आपको एक्सटर्नल स्कॉलरशिप्स भी मिल सकता है ना वाइल आई वॉज अप्लाइंग फॉर माई मास्टर्स तो मुझे दोनों में मैंने ट्राई किया था इंटरनली एक एप्लीकेशन था एंड टू बी ऑनेस्ट देर आर मैनी स्कॉलरशिप्स दैट आर अवेलेबल पर उनके डेट्स याद रखना इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट सो वेन यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर इंटरनल स्कॉलरशिप्स और एक्सटर्नल स्कॉलरशिप्स यू नीड टू रिमेंबर द डेट्स एंड वेन डू दे ओपन तो आई हैड ट्राइड एन अ स्कॉलरशिप इंटरनली बट मुझे वो नहीं मिला बट एक्सटर्नली आई ट्राइड अप्लाइंग थ्रू माई यूनिवर्सिटी ना आई विल टेल यू हाउ डू यू अप्लाई थ्रू योर यूनिवर्सिटी so before continuing with the video i would like to share two myth that a lot of people have with scholarship to ek to hai jo people ko lagta hai ki agar aap rank karte ho ya sports khelte ho ya bahut hi active ho college mein to aapko scholarship mil sakta hai it's not a guaranteed uh, सिचुएशन बट ऑबियसली यू कैन गिव इट अ ट्राई एंड सेकेंडली स्कॉलरशिप्स आर फॉर एवरी वन सो अगर आपको ऐसा लगता है कि मैंने कुछ नहीं किया है एंड यू नो आई डोंट थिंक सो स्कॉलरशिप इज मैन फॉर मी दैट इज़ टोटली रॉन्ग बिकॉज इट्स ओपन फॉर एवरी वन टू गिव इट अ ट्राई सो इफ यू कम अक्रॉस अ स्कॉलरशिप प्लीज डोंट अज्यूम और हैव सेल्फ डाउट राधर जस्ट गिव इट अ ट्राई so how do you get to know whether there are scholarships or not so honestly majority of the universities provide scholarships figures and conditions might differ jaise ki mujhe jab main ek dusri university mein apply kar rahi thi so i was receiving 3000 euro scholarship but then because of the pandemic and lockdown i decided to shift my application to london and i was receiving a 5000 pound scholarship and also dates might differ aapko kya requirements mein requirements chahiye hogi that might differ so it's always good to know uh, if there are any scholarships but the first thing is to mail a university or check on the website and i'm sure a, a lot of universities provide with a scholarship now how do we begin with a scholarship application honestly a uh, scholarship application aapka start hoga when you receive your application Uh, some universities might ask you for a final offer letter nahi to koi koi universities might ask you ki agar aapne conditional letter bhi aapke paas hai uh, or if you are waiting for the certificate of, of acceptance um uske sath bhi aap apply kar sakte ho but all these questions it's good to ask your university and maine start kiya tha once i received my final offer letter one more important cheez main aapko batana chahti hu ki har scholarship इज़ डिफरेंट फ्राम वन अनदर अगर मैंने आपको ये ऐड किया था वीडियो में मुझ दैट मीन्स कि फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल अगर आप साइंस फील्ड के हो या टेक्नोलॉजी फील्ड के हो या आर्ट्स फील्ड के हो स्कॉलरशिप्स डिफर फ्राम वन अनदर आर्ट्स में शायद आपको पोर्टफोलियो बिल्डिंग या पोर्टफोलियो सबमिट करना होगा बट फॉर मी आई जस्ट हैव टू राइट एन एस एंड दैट इज़ वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू कवर हाउ टू एग्जैक्टली राइट एन एस ए फॉर योर स्कॉलरशिप एप्लीकेशन The first thing to keep in mind for a scholarship is obviously to keep the date in mind. Um, don't start writing your scholarship application just before the deadline. You can obviously you're not writing it for the sake. You really want the scholarship. Um, I remember जब मैं अपने scholarship ले try कर रही थी, it was really difficult for me because I was trying to think what all should I write. And when I came in that writing zone, I just uh wrote my scholarship application essay and i kept editing it i kept thinking to myself what all i need to add and to be honest this was my very first uh scholarship application that i was writing uh after the one i did not crack but i did not give up so how do you write a scholarship application essay 
the first thing you might do is look at uh, articles on website, look at YouTube videos. And that is what I had done. I try looking at articles. I try looking at uh, YouTube videos to help myself because I did not really have a lot of contacts who had received scholarships. So I did not really know which path to take. How do you begin your scholarship essay? The first thing is you always greet the person whom you're writing to. Even if you do not know, if you don't know who you're writing to, it's okay. It's always good to just start with a greeting and to add a line like this. I hope everything is going well because you just don't want to submit your scholarship in a very, I mean, your scholarship essay in a very short and to the point um manner but you want to make sure that the person who reads it really connects with your writing so always start with a greeting that's the very first thing collate and gather all those experiences that you want to share and while gathering try filtering out the most relevant ones now for example aapko school mein kuch aapne kiya hoga you must have received an, an award um but you're writing for your master's scholarship essay uh it might be important that you do not add that but you add the most recent ones for example apne work experience kiya and you have a few experiences or volunteering experiences for sports um awards or achievements or anything even a team work or a group work can be added in your scholarship essay to so collate and gather all those information and filter out the most relevant and the most important ones so jab aap scholarship एप्लीकेशन uh, सबमिट करते हो आपको ऑलरेडी uh, उन्होंने बताया होता है कि वट इज़ द रिक्वायरमेंट नाउ वेन आई वॉज अप्लाइंग फॉर दी एस ए दे हैड आस्ट मी आई थिंक थ्री बुलेट पॉइंट्स टू एड वॉट ऑल आई हैव डन हाउ डू आई रिलेट विथ माई कोर्स वाई एम आई चूज इन द कोर्स और द यूनिवर्सिटी एंड वाई और हाउ विल इट हेल्प मी इन माई फ्यूचर करियर ऑप्शन नाउ to set a setting you know to set a scene it's very important ki aap apne jaise maine apne bachelor's kiya mass communication mein i uh, tried fig- i tried dividing my scholarship essay into three parts and then accordingly i tried putting all my information so first year mein maine kya kya kiya second year mein maine kya kya kiya third year mein maine kya kya kiya wo sab maine three paragraphs mein add kiya tha and then um, at the end i tried connecting or try combining my course of public relations and corporate communications which i was applying for my masters and fir maine bataya ki why am i choosing kings university or mujhe public relations mein kya karna hai and what is my aim or my goal now you must remember that scholarship essay mein they are really looking forward to to learn or to know from you as an individual that why is it important for you to apply for a scholarship now of course there are different reasons um and everyone wants a scholarship but um again it's important how you connect your goals with your um with your program that you're applying for and at the end always um try to sh- show your paragraphs in a very positive light and how you will make sure that whatever scholarship you achieve you make the most out of it it's very important to show that purpose um also um do not forget to thank the person whom you are writing to um if not the person whom you know at least the team or the university because um like i said in the first thing aap jab kisi ko apna scholarship de rahe ho to they should connect they should feel connected they should feel that okay yes you definitely deserve the scholarship so start with a greeting collate and gather all your ideas filter them with the most most relevant and important one uh divide it into three paragraphs and show your purpose for writing the scholarship essay or for receiving one and obviously thank at the end don't forget to um you know stay with the date and make sure that you do not start writing at the at the end like before the deadline and of course aapko ek aur cheez yaad rakhna chahiye ki um bahut sa universities dates deti hai for you to take some time and reflect and write with all open heart uh, but also make sure that ki aise aise mat socho ki aap kahe ga main aap aise kuch bhi submit kar lo because universities give time to anyone who applies whenever within the timeline so it's not like first come first basis everyone will get an opportunity to just uh, submit their scholarship essays and after the deadline they really start looking at the essays and submit the results
And of course, you can try making a scholarship essay a little more creative. मुझे याद है कि मैंने एक quote insert किया था Beverly Smith. I can't really recall अभी, but that really resonated with my personality and with my work that I had done and I was writing about in my essay. So make sure that you can add a little quote. You can add a few lines of yours, or uh, you can try making it creative according to the requirements of the scholarship. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you are applying for a scholarship essay, all the best. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put your questions in the comment section below, or else you can even DM me or email me. And of course, please feel free to subscribe to the channel Gemini on a Mission. See you in the next video.